Hello everyone, welcome to the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room and What's on the Shelf Wednesday. In this series, I'll be doing quick reviews of whiskeys that you could find on the shelf, including bourbons, rise, Irish whiskeys, and today, Tennessee whiskeys. So what's on the shelf today? Jack Daniels Single Barrels. Millions of bottles of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey are sold around the world every year. The top selling whiskey's Tennessee roots go back to the late 1800s when Jasper Newton Jack Daniel was born in or around 1850. He was the youngest of 10 children and his mother died when he was very young. His father died in the Civil War not long after. He was independent at an early age and Daniel was taken in by a local preacher and moonshiner maker named Dan Call in his teens. That's where he began distilling with Call and distiller Nathan Nearest Green, a slave who continued to work for Call after emancipation. He learned to make whiskey using the sour mash method and how to filter whiskey through charcoal, which was common at the time. Now, other distillers would abandon the process for time and financial reasons, but it became a staple of Daniel's final product and also became a staple of the Jack Daniel's flavor profile. Daniel used his inheritance from his father's estate to found a legally registered distilling business in 1875. He purchased the hollow and land where the Jack Daniels Distillery is located today in 1884. Known as Stillhouse Hollow or Jack Daniels Hollow, the property includes a cave at the base of a limestone cliff where limestone filtered water is often considered an essential ingredient in good whiskey. Now while the recipe and technique used to make Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey meets the regulatory criteria for making straight bourbon, it disavows the classification entirely. Through efforts by the distillery, Tennessee whiskey is defined as a straight bourbon authorized to be produced in the state of Tennessee after being filtered through charcoal made from sugar maple. This is known as the Lincoln County process. So today we're gonna to be tasting the single barrel select Tennessee whiskey, the single barrel barrel proof Tennessee whiskey, and their single barrel rye. First, the Tennessee whiskey. Jack Tennessee whiskey is made from a mash bill of 80% corn, 12% barley, and 8% rye. This is limestone filtered water and also uses a sour mash technique. The Lincoln County process of slowly filtering their whiskey through 10 feet of sugar maple charcoal is what gives Jack Daniels its iconic flavor. All right guys, so before we dive into these single barrels, let's go to the staple, which is the old number seven. I have a small little airplane bottle of it. Basically, what I want to do is taste the old number seven. This is bottled at 80 proof. It's available everywhere. One of the top selling whiskeys every year in the US and around the world. Uh, I want to taste this first and get a, a flavor profile, get my palate ready to taste some Jack Daniels before we dive into the single barrels to do a comparison. So let's start with the old number seven. So this literally smells like trail mix with banana chips in it. <laughs> Jack Daniels is known for having a little bit of a, well, Brown Foreman overall, who owns Jack Daniels, is known for using or having a, a slightly banana forward flavor profile. And it comes out probably the most in the Jack Daniels number seven. Banana, sugary sweetness, a lot of caramel. Definitely get that maple sugar type aspect to it. But that banana note is really what kind of jumps out of the glass. All right, let's go for a sip here. More banana on the palate. It's coming through a little bit nutty too, getting more of like a banana nut characteristic, kind of a banana nut bread type aspect to it. Yeah, second sip, it starts thinning out a little bit. Jack Daniels is, is one of those whiskeys that everyone likes to mix with Coke or mix with ginger ale or mix with something. It's a, definitely a great mixing whiskey, but also very easy to drink straight. I could see why a lot of people love it. So let's compare it to the single barrel select now. Now, as I mentioned, I think the single barrel selects are really where the Jack Daniels flavor profile begins to shine. Rather than being at that typical 80 proof, the single barrel select is bottled at 94 proof and usually has some more layers of flavor that's built into it. See, to me, that banana note is still there, but there's more caramel, there's more spice that comes out of the glass. Really nice maple note. You get kind of a, of a peanut and caramel mixture there. A Little bit like peanut brittle. Again, a little bit of that banana hint there, but it's a little bit more refined. It's not, I feel like the number seven, it's, it tastes a little bit more almost artificial to a point with that banana flavor. Whereas this, it comes across a little bit more natural. All right, let's go for a sip, here we go. Just way nicer on the palate, a lot more mouth coating, more viscous, mm, cinnamon, nuttiness, 
Little hint of that banana, but it's not, like I said, it's not that artificial uh, banana type flavor to it. A lot of baking spices I'm picking up in here as well. Yeah, I go back to the nose here. Man, you get some really nice toasted oak. One thing that Brown Foreman does so well because they have their own cooperage, they do some great things with barrels. Just really gives a nice sweetness, really nice, uh, really nice sweet oak profile. All right, let's go for a sip. Oh man, it's getting a little bit more fruity now, a little bit more of a cherry note coming out. Man, I think it just got a hint of blueberry there on the palate. That's the beauty with single barrels. I mean, sometimes you can just get different flavors. Yeah, way more interesting than the old number seven. This is about 45 to 50 bucks. It's a, I think it's a really good value if you're, if you're a huge Jack Daniels fan. They do a lot of other great uh, special releases. The Heritage release they did last year. It's one of my favorite whiskeys. Uh, my, one of my favorite releases that Jack Daniels has ever done. It was absolutely delicious. But if you can find that one, some of these single barrels sitting on the shelf just are really delicious. Yeah, sweet toasted oak. A lot more vanilla now is coming through. Still getting a little bit of that nuttiness. The banana has kind of gone away a little bit. It's still there, but I mean, it's just barely there. Coming through more as a, a, a banana nut bread. But absolutely delicious, yeah. I love the, uh, the single barrel, it's really good stuff. All right, next up is the single barrel barrel proof. Now this is bottled straight from the barrel and it's full proof. These barrel proofs are bottled anywhere from 125 to 140 proof. This is taking all those Jack Daniels flavor profiles and amping it up to insane levels. Probably the best product I think Jack makes. All right, let's go on the nose on this one. Oh man, this is, this is that banana bread, but this is if you took warm banana bread that just came out of the oven and drizzled it with caramel sauce. Oh my God. A Little bit of a bananas foster aspect to it. You know, minus the, well, I mean, there could be kind of a rum aspect to this a little bit too. It's got that sugary sweetness, the hint of banana, but it's more warming. There's a lot of baking spices behind it too that come out at this proof point. Man, just freaking awesome stuff. All right, let's go for another sip. Oh, that's where it's at right there. That is where it's at. Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof is so good. Oh my God, it's so much candy and sweetness. Banana bread, caramel drizzle, brown sugars. Finishes with a really beautiful sweet oak profile. The nuttiness to it, the caramel. Oh man, could drink that for days. This is where the beauty of the Lincoln County process really shines through is when you can really taste it. Whether you love it or you hate it, I think you can appreciate it in the barrel proof because it offers so many layers of flavor when you get into the maple charcoal, the notes that it brings, the smoothness, but also the, the intensity of flavor, the way it just brings different layers of flavor to the table. Oh man, just drinking it at barrel proof, you really get to understand the effect of that Lincoln County process and the sugary sweetness that it brings. Even at barrel proof, this is really easy to sip. This particular bottle comes in at 134.1 proof. So it's a high proof. I mean, it's up there. Anything between, you know, anything higher than 125, you're getting to a really high proof. But at 134, this does not drink like 134.1 proof. This is really sweet, really easy to sip. I'm going for another one. The balance of oak, sweetness, the Jack Daniels flavor profile, that maple charcoal, the nuttiness, that banana bread, the warm banana bread, the baking spices, little hints of fruit starting to kind of poke out too. This is the, you know, you combine that with that sweet oak flavor that that's just quintessential brown foreman, Jack Daniels, that oak note, the really nice sweet oak. It's just, it, it's an epitome of what Jack, if, if you've never had this, Jack Daniels old number seven, once you have this after that, I don't think you can go back. This is a true expression of what Jack Daniels is capable of. All right, let's go into the Tennessee single barrel rye. Let's see what we get on this one. Now before we taste this one, the Jack Daniels Tennessee Rye is a 70% rye mash bill. It still goes through the Lincoln County process, gives it that really nice sugar maple flavor. Let's go on the nose, see what we get. 
definitely way different on the nose than, uh, than the regular Tennessee whiskeys from Jack Daniels. This one is, whereas the old number seven that we tasted earlier had more of, a, of an artificial banana characteristic, this smells like a freshly peeled banana, which is really weird. But it's also a bit spicy. It's kind of, that rye spice is coming through. It's like a spicy banana. Does that make sense? Probably not. Getting a little bit of a hint of uh, black licorice here. Definitely some fruit flavors are coming through. I'm getting a little bit more citrus on the nose here, probably from that rye. Definitely that sweet oak characteristic is still there. Yeah, definitely a great nose. This also is bottled at 94 proof, like the single barrel select, the regular Tennessee whiskey. So let's go in for a taste, see what we get, cheers. I actually like that a lot. It's very sweet. I'm surprised how much rye grain I'm getting through here. I'm getting a lot of citrus, a lot of spice. Being 70% rye grain, you really do taste it. It's kind of nice. But it balances out nicely with that, that sugar maple, the Lincoln County process. I think it, it does really well against it's, it's kind of sweet and spicy at the same time. Let's go for another sip. Yeah. Banana, citrus, licorice, sweet oak, spice, baking spices in there too, kind of mixed in. That was That's way more interesting than I thought it would be. Man, let's go for one more sip of that one. Yeah, this is just banana, licorice, but like fresh banana, freshly peeled banana, licorice, spice. Really good stuff. I think Jack Daniels definitely represents themselves the best with these single barrel expressions. So if you're like me and you had Jack Daniels early on in your whiskey journey when you were trying Jack and Coke, Jack and Ginger, whatever it may be. You might not have a great memory of Jack Daniels. I think if you go back to it and you try these expressions, it'll completely change your mind. The Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select is an absolutely delicious whiskey. It comes across with that quintessential Jack Daniels flavor profile, but really amps up the sweetness, gives you some more layered flavors. There's a nuttiness to it. There's some a little bit of a fruit, uh, a fruit aspect to it. So the single barrel Tennessee rye was actually a surprise for me. I didn't think I was gonna like it as much as I did. It's really got a nice balance of rye spice, sweetness, really has some uh, really great flavors to it, the balance of it. There's a bit of citrus that comes forward, but it's, it's really on the sweet side. I mean, already being a 70% rye, you expect some more spice, but I think that Lincoln County process really gives it a, a, a really a potent sweetness to it. Like I said, fresh banana, but spicy, definitely sweet. Probably wouldn't be my first go-to rye, but if you like a sweeter rye, this one might be in your wheelhouse. The Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof is an absolutely exceptional whiskey. It's absolutely delicious. This is probably one of the best things on the shelf that you might have never tried. If you've never tried Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof, it's an immediate pickup today. Like go out and go buy it because not only is it flavorful, delicious, but there's a lot of layered flavors in there and I promise you, you will never look at Jack Daniels the same way after you have that bottle. But as always, the best thing about these three bottles, if you're looking to try some new whiskey, especially broaden your horizons and revisit Jack Daniels, these three are great representations of what Jack Daniels can be, and all three are on the shelf. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's on the Shelf Wednesday, where we tasted the single barrel selects from Jack Daniels. Hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. If you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Always love talking with you guys. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'll see you next week on What's on the Shelf Wednesday. Take care.